Welcome to this week's update on the hedged option portfolio. Since last week's update, Bitcoin made an attempt to break the 65k level, but has since fallen back to around 60k. The run up to 65k bailed me out of the poor fills I got at the end of the previous video, where I sold the 63k strike for the 27th of September, with the delivery price at expiry for those being around 65,400. Last week I mentioned that I'd be quite happy with some choppy price action for a week or two so I could collect some of the positive theta without picking up too much delta in either direction. We didn't quite get the tighter range I was talking about, but it has been relatively choppy, with a move in both directions. And the account is up about 2% since then, so quite a good week. A comment on a previous video requested to see the positions more graphically rather than just in the positions table, which you can see here. So I'll use this week's update to show some of the different ways you can view your option positions. The first way, of course, is in the UI. Here you can see it in the positions table at the bottom here, but also in the option chain. You can enable all expiries in the option chain, and then if we scroll down, we can see where our positions are as they're in the position uh, column. You can see our June hedges here. You can see your positions in a similar way on Greeks Live. I've covered Greeks Live before when I used their auto dynamic delta hedging tool. An extra feature I really like on the Greeks Live interface is this position only filter. It shows the option chain, but it filters it to only show strikes where I have a position. Quite a useful feature. Another popular way to view your option positions is on a position builder. Deribit has this position builder tool. You can get to this by going to the top left menu and then clicking position builder. This shows our positions on a price chart and shows the profit and loss now, uh, meaning today with the green line, and at expiry for the purple line. I'll do a separate video going into more detail about this position builder tool for the Deribit blog, but for now let's have a quick walk around of what can be seen on this tool. As well as the chart, we can see our positions in the table at the bottom as well. This is similar to what we can see on the Deribit platform. What makes this very different to the Deribit platform though is that we can add simulated positions. So currently this is showing all of the real positions that are in my account right now. But if I wanted to see how it would perform if I added, for example, a long in the perpetual, so let's say I wanted to long $1,000 worth of the perpetual, and then that is added to the portfolio underneath. And it's also added to the price chart and everywhere else. As well as adding simulated positions, I can choose to enable or disable any of the simulated or real positions. So I can view only a selection of the portfolio if I want to as well. This is the current portfolio, and you can see that because of the protection we've got out in June, most of the P&L is positive at the moment in the wings. But that's mainly because we're short at the money options but very short term, and long out of the money options but very long term. We can also slide the date. The green line currently shows today when it's all the way to the left, or we can slide it to the right and it will push the portfolio out in time, eventually settling down at the purple line expiry. Though of course this is complicated by having multiple expiries in between where our positions would expire and we will obviously add more short term positions as uh, the current ones expire, whereas the longer term positions will basically just hold those for uh, up to a year in some cases. As well as being able to slide the date, we can also slide the volatility. So if, if we increase volatility here, because we're long so many further dated options, our portfolio would actually gain by volatility increasing, even though we're short the shorter term options. There are quite a few other charts that we can see. This is um, profit and loss, but we could also show uh, the equity, the Greeks, the margin requirements. So you can really look into your portfolio in detail with this tool. It's, it's quite useful. We can also see the portfolio margin risk matrix in this tool. This basically shows the margin calculation if you're on uh, portfolio margin. And it's the same, well, very similar to what you can see on the Deribit platform itself if you go to the portfolio margin page. It's basically this, but with a couple of extra features in the position builder. 
Speaking of which, the portfolio margin risk matrix is another way to view your portfolio. I quite like looking at this to see where my biggest exposure is. So we can see at the moment the worst thing for our portfolio right now would be a big drop in price coupled with a big drop in volatility. It's unlikely to get both of those at the same time though, so I'm quite happy for that to be the worst uh, situation. And you can see even if that did happen it wouldn't be a, a huge loss. So the portfolio at the moment's in a relatively safe state. And one more way of viewing your option positions is with the code that I I showed the visual for in a previous video, but I didn't actually release the code yet, but I have done that now. So this code is written in Python, and you can see it shows the, the option positions that I'm currently holding on the chart with these little arrows and the numbers indicating the size. And we can zoom in to see this in more detail. I don't actually have that many short-term positions on at the moment, so there's not that much to see. Uh, but I've released the code for this now. I'll put the link in the description. But if, you, if you've already got my GitHub, you can see it on there. So feel free to, to download this, play around with it, customize it to suit your needs. Uh, but I find this a, quite a useful way to visualize where your positions are, where your cover is, how far away it is, etc. So as I said, I'll go into more detail on the position builder specifically in a separate video. But before I end today's video, let's place a quick trade. So I'm currently short a call and a put for tomorrow on the 4th of October, both of which are in the money. Uh, both of these were rolls from previous expiries. So I'm going to add a position for Saturday's expiry, which is the 5th. And as usual, I'll be going for around 30 to 35 delta. This 59,000 looks good to me. See if we can get a fill at 75 basis points. I know I'm top of the queue here, even though my order is only for 0 0.1. Um, I saw all the other orders drop out, so I know I'm first if anyone does buy into this. And when that is the case, I'm happy to just sit there and wait unless the price moves too far away. So the price is increasing here, so I'm probably just going to uh, give this an edit to 70. And I expect to get filled quite quickly on that. I normally expect to get filled quite quickly when I put the offer in at better than mark. But I have been finding that's a bit more of a struggle recently. Sometimes do have to wait a while. And there we go, we've got the fill. So now into the weekend, we're holding, well, into Friday really, but we're holding a short call and put for tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably have to roll at least one of these because they're both in the money. Uh, and then for Saturday, we'll just short one extra put. So relatively safe positions at the moment, just due to the small position size. But we've got a decent amount of theta, small amount of positive delta, and that's basically what I like to hold most of the time. So everything's looking good for now, and I'll just hold that for the next couple of days. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.